This will be for the con assignment, rational equations. All right, so they want us to find all solutions to the equation. All right. So um, the main idea here is to get a common denominator. Okay, and once you have a common denominator, you can set the numerators equal to each other and then solve. So here we have x plus 3 in the denominator, and here we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. So the trick here is to multiply the top and bottom by x plus 2 right here. All right, we have x plus 3, and we want x plus 2 also in the denominator. Okay, but you can't just do, the, do it multiplying the bottom and leave it. You have to do it on the top as well. Okay, the reason I'm allowed to do that is because x plus 2 over x plus 2 is just 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. Okay, so distributing in the numerator, I'm going to do x times 2. And then I'm going to do x times x. So x times x is going to be x squared. All right. In the denominator, we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. All right. So now you can see the denominators match. So all we have to do is set the numerators equal to each other. All right, 2x plus x squared equals 3. Okay, and remember when you have a quadratic equation, we have an x squared and an x, so we have to set it equal to 0. I'm going to write x squared first. I'm going to write 2x second. And if I do minus 3 on both sides... It cancels over here, and we still have minus 3 on the left, and that equals 0. Okay, now you can use quadratic formula if you want. Um, but we could factor. Okay, so what's two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add to 2? There's not many factors for negative 3. It's just 3 and negative 1 or negative 3 and positive 1. So which pair adds to positive 2? That's this right here, 3 and negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite using 3 and negative 1. Okay? X plus 3 and X minus 1. And that equals 0. Okay? Now either one of these can be 0. So when x plus 3 equals 0, x is going to be negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And when x minus 1 equals 0, x is just 1, because 1 minus 1 is 0. All right? Now... There's a small problem here. You have to remember you can't divide by zero. So you have to check these answers real quick. If x equals negative three, if you put negative three in there, you're gonna get zero in the denominator, okay? So that's no good. But if you use x equals one, one plus two is three, one plus three is four, that's perfectly fine. So x equals one is okay. But negative 3 does not work. All right, so remember, you can't divide by 0. Remember that. See, it says choose, it says choose all answers that apply, so be careful. All right, remember, you can't divide by 0. All right, so here we have x plus 4. Here we have x times x plus 4. So I'm going to multiply this one right here by x over x. Okay, I'm allowed to do that because x over x is just 1. All right. So distributing x times 2 is 2x. 
x times x is x squared. And on the bottom, x plus 4 times x. I'm going to write it just like it is here, x times x plus 4. Okay, and now you see we, we uh, changed this one here. We still have this. Notice the denominators, x times x plus 4, x times x plus 4. The denominators match. So now set the numerators equal to each other. 15 is going to equal 2x plus x squared. Okay, and we have to set this equal to 0, so do minus 15 on both sides, and it cancels here. Okay, I'm going to write the x squared first, uh, plus 2x second, and minus 15 last. Okay, and again, you can use quadratic formula, but factoring is easier if you can do it. Do we have two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add to 2? Well, how about 3 and negative 5? Or negative 3 and positive 5? Do either of those add to positive 2? Yes, right here. All right? So, this is, since this canceled, this whole thing is equal to 0. All right, so I'm going to rewrite it in factored form. I'm going to do x minus 3. And x plus 5. And the whole thing equals 0. All right. If x minus 3 equals 0, x is 3. Okay. If x plus 5 equals 0, x would have to be negative 5, right? So remember, anything multiplied by 0 equals 0. So this part can be 0 or this part can be 0. Now, let's look at the uh, numbers that would make this equal to 0. Okay? If x were 0, that would make the denominator 0. So it can't be 0, but we didn't get that anyway. If x were negative 4... We'd get negative 4 plus 4. That would make the denominator 0. It can't be negative 4. But we don't have that either. So both of these are okay. Positive 3 and negative 5. Remember to choose all answers that apply. So positive 3 and negative 5. Here's negative 5. That's answer A. And positive 3 is answer F. All right, a lot of choices for these. All right, one more. So again, find the solutions. We want to match the denominators, and then we can match the numerators. Here we have x times x minus 2. We want that here as well. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x. All right, this way we have x times x minus 2 in both denominators. Okay, x over x is just 1, so I'm allowed to do that. I'm just multiplying by 1. x times negative x is negative x squared. And x times 14 is 14x. Okay, remember to distribute to both terms when you do this. All right, and on the bottom, x times x minus 2. We don't need to mess with that. Okay, now that our denominators match, we set the numerators equal. So x squared plus 20 is going to equal negative x squared plus 14x. All right, so we want a quadratic equation. 
We want it set equal to zero. I'm going to add x squared on both. And this will cancel. And I'm going to subtract 14x on both. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is because I want zero on one side of the equal sign. So this way I can factor or use quadratic formula. X squared plus X squared is 2X squared minus 14X plus 20 equals zero. All right. And we have all even numbers, so I'm just going to divide both sides by 2, make it easier. Okay, 2 over 2 is just 1, so that's x squared. Negative 14 over 2 is negative 7x. And 20 over 2 is positive 10. And that equals 0. 0 over 2 is just 0. Okay, don't forget, when you divide both sides by a number... That number, each term in the um, numerator is divided by that number. As long as uh, each term that's added or subtracted in the numerator has to be divided by that number. Okay, now we can factor. Two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to negative 7. Okay, 5 and 2 is positive 7. But negative 5 and negative 2 would give us negative 7. So that works. So rewrite this with negative 5 and negative 2. And that equals 0. Okay. If x minus 5 equals 0, x would be 5. If x minus 2 equals 0, x would be 2. Okay, x is either 5 or 2, because 5 minus 5 would equal 0, and 0 times whatever is 0. Also, 2 works, because 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 times whatever is 0. So x is 5 and 2. Okay, now we have to check. Okay, if you put a 2 in here, you would get 2 minus 2, and that's 0. You would get 0 in the denominator. So it can't be 2. All right, how about 5? Five? 5 minus 2 is okay. If you did 5 minus 2 here, you'd get 3 times 5. Okay, that's 15. As long as it's not 0 in the denominator, you're okay. So x equals 5 is the only solution. Okay, don't forget, they're saying choose all that apply. So you have to do all the, all the correct ones. x equals 5. All right, so just match up the denominators first and then <clears throat> set the numerators equal and solve.